Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today we're going to review vacuum cleaner, Dyson version 11 or V11, what they call it. However, not only I would like to review that vacuum cleaner, I also will be comparing it to version 8 that we had for last two years. Um, Taking this opportunity, I would like to ask you for a huge favor. If you like this video or any other videos on my channel, please subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of my other reviews or lifestyle videos. Let's start with a vacuum cleaner review. So before Dyson, just brief history, we had all normal vacuum cleaners. And my first question was, if you can pay $200 for pretty good vacuum cleaner, why would you spend a lot of money on Dyson? I didn't know until I tried Dyson. My first exposure was Dyson V8. It was a good vacuum cleaner. I didn't know any better. And it's still probably a good vacuum cleaner. But the first feature of V11 that I would like to discuss is actual battery life. So, I would not go to details of capacities and all of that. You can find all the specification on Dyson website or other people that sell vacuum cleaners. But what I would like to say is version 8 was enough probably to vacuum two bedrooms and living room well on the highest setting and will run out of battery. It was a little bit upsetting because when you pay uh, six, seven, eight, sometimes nine hundred dollars for vacuum cleaner, you expect a little bit more. But version 11 wasn't there at that point in time, and we think it's normal. It's a lot of power coming from battery, so it's normal, uh, normal go. This one is real game changer. Our house has four bedrooms and living area, and most of those places are carpeted. The carpeted is a keyword. Why I'm saying that? Because it has smart. It's the display here will show you which setting is on and it will sense what you vacuum and actually change setting. When you vacuum carpet, it will actually send a turbo setting, which would consume a lot of battery. Back to our house, it's a four bedroom house and carpet everywhere plus living room. This vacuum cleaner has enough battery to vacuum the well, whole house on a turbo setting. That is phenomenal for battery vacuum cleaner. That's the first positive change from version 8. The battery in version 8, however, vacuum cleaner of version 8 was really good vacuum cleaner. The battery was its big downside. The second one, well, I already mentioned, is a smart display. It's not only display your setting, also show the battery live. Um, as you vacuum, the moment it changes settings on its own, you see change in life of the battery and how much battery left. Not in battery indicator, but in real time, like two, three, five minutes. So when you vacuum your house, you can actually see how you're progressing and you may make change your plans, how you vacuum if battery is not enough. I actually cannot imagine uh, that normal household would be that big that vacuum cleaner would run out of battery before you finish vacuuming. Talking about vacuuming, the version 11 somehow feels not big, but the whole construction is almost two times bigger than version 8. And not only it holds more dirt, it also way more powerful than version 8 you can significantly feel it when you vacuum. So another really big bonus is that the empty vacuum cleaner on version 8, it had a number of compartments that you need to hold one part and empty through another one and always catching and always was inconvenient. This one is a game changer in that way as well. You just press the red lever the chamber opens up and you empty it in the rubbish bin and it has a rubber seal inside when it opens it drags all the dirt out so the vacuum cleaner cleans itself as you empty it the thinking they put in the manufacturing uh, design and manufacturing this one is phenomenal 
And by the way, all the way you feel quality of the construction. It doesn't feel cheap by all means. It's not a cheap vacuum cleaner, but sometimes they pay money and you get product that is not um, that robust. So this one is pretty good. What else unique to vacuum cleaner to this particular one? All models have it, but this one have more smarts. As you can see at the end of the chamber, there's a kind of uh, like terminals. And yes, it sends current through entire tube all the way. You probably can see it here. It connects to pins there and sends the uh, current through the tube all the way to what they call smart head. That head, actually, what they call it, I think they call it, yeah, they call it torque drive. That head is phenomenal. First of all, it actually moves in any direction. So if you need to vacuum under your bed or in tricky positions, actually, you can put the vacuum head and, and the whole vacuum in a parallel with the, with the floor and go to the tightest spots on your household which is in you know, a huge advantage uh, with all the vacuum cleaners uh, before Dyson. If we would ever remove the bed, it was all dusty under the bed. Now we actually vacuum under the beds behind, the, um, behind all the tricky spots. So this is the game changer since we got uh, uh, Dyson. Also, the difference between Dyson and other vacuum cleaners, most of them, is that the head actually rotates. It not only sucks the dirt, it's also deep cleaning it by flicking all the debris up and sucks it in. And it does not vibrate, it does not feel any different, but it cleans first time and cleans well. So in that sense, most of the Dyson vacuum cleaners are the same. The biggest difference between V8 and V11, on V8 you had to change settings what you're vacuuming other hard floors or soft floors or, or carpet floors. Here, you can change settings uh, to increase the strength or decrease it to save the battery. But if you put on auto setting, the head is smart enough to uh, sense what you're vacuuming and change setting automatically. I can admit, I, I, yeah, it look, it works very well. I was a bit skeptical about the feature. I thought it's a gimmick. No kidding, it works very well. What else we've got here? As typical Dyson, they've got all the different heads, and one of them looks that, you know, not that significant, but trust me, it's a very significant one. First of all, this one, you can clean everything that you want, and we mostly use it for uh, beds that we're sleeping on. You may be surprised how much dust your bed mattress accumulates. It's really good for that. It's also good to vacuum the cars. Another surprise uh, use for this is mosquito nets on the windows. I'm not sure how about you guys, but we live in quite, um, not dust environment, but uh, the mosquito nets are so uh, small, the dust getting caught in it and um, after a month or two, you can see a layer of dust on there. Because the head of uh, rotates here, it actually dislodges the dust from mosquito net and sucks it in. So instead of disassembling mosquito nets, you, we can actually vacuum them. It's a big plus. I never, never appreciated it until I tried. And we've got, every bedroom got probably one to two windows. We've got probably good 10 to 12 windows to vacuum. It's it's an amazing, or, or mosquito nets, it's an amazing attachment to do so. And of course, other things that you wish. The other ones are basically soft brushes. There's a three of them uh, for totally different purposes. Uh, some of them longer, some of them different shapes. It basically gets to the places where other heads wouldn't, wouldn't reach or basically, um, I don't know, um, clean everything else that does not fall into the category of flat head cleaning. And of course another one is the long tube. 
it's really nice to clean all the chairs and furniture in, in creases and crevasses and also really good for spider webs. So here it is. Um, those things come with the vacuum cleaner and if you would like, that's another thing that comes with vacuum cleaner, we don't use it because uh, we didn't want to drill the walls, but that's, that attachment is uh, docking station. So if you've got uh, laundry or any other uh, place in your household that you don't mind drilling hole in a wall, you can affix it in the wall, uh, thread power supply cord through, and when you finish vacuuming, instead of plugging it in, you can actually dock it. I saw people doing it, it's amazing. Uh, to me, it doesn't really matter, I, I plug it in the garage. But that's another thing that come with uh, Dyson vacuum. Another thing I would like to uh, describe is, it was pleasant surprise. Uh, it's such a small thing, but it was really big for me. Um, with version 8, I really tried to register warranty and it was not the hassle, but you need to go to website and you know where to go and you need to discover. With version 11, they changed the procedure. If you got a box, which I got here, I'll show you in a second. So they, they send you a vacuum cleaner in this kind of box. It's actually not a big box, but in a box, you can find uh, the product barcode. So when you open box for the first time, there's a little paper and say, register your hassle-free warranty and I just look at it all right what happened there's a there's a barcode uh, QR barcode that you can scan when you scan the barcode it says well sc scan your product code which is basically that one on a, on, a, on a box and when you put it in it asks you for your name and address and warranty warranty is registered that process is phenomenal I never had to claim warranty because both of our Dysons uh, work quite well. Uh, so this one is currently one year, two months old. Uh, it works phenomenal. I don't feel any slowdown in a battery life or any other attachment. But if it wouldn't work well, um, I heard the Dyson warranty is pretty good warranty. So if you ask me if I would recommend Dyson as a vacuum cleaner, it's an interesting question. It's a matter of need and financial situation. I wouldn't say we ever had need and financial situation. And I believe many people could be um, same as like our position. However, having um, experience with version eight, I did not hesitate to spend money on version 11 because the product is phenomenal, the product is constantly improving, the product has really good warranty, and if you buy from a good retailer, which basically I'll put a link where I got it in Amazon Australia down below, please check it out, you have really good shipping time, so I think we had it next day after, or on, in two days time, I don't remember, it was something really quick after purchasing it, and also, if something goes wrong, you've got really good backing from either Amazon or Dyson Australia. If I miss anything, please let me know. Otherwise, here you go, guys. Uh, it's review or my point of view of uh, Dyson version 11. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like and hit the notification button so you don't miss any of my future videos. I appreciate your time. Until next video. Greg from Lisbon. Goodbye. Thank you.